Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We continue to speak about React Cooks and React Context. In the last lesson, we finished this edit UI part of our application. And in this lesson, we will make this edit functionality for this UI. Our main purpose is, for example, when we click these individual edit buttons, first we want to see the existing details and then we can change all of them or one of them or two of them of these form elements. After we make change, we will click this edit employee button and we want that our updated information will occur in our application. For this reason, let's go back our code first. Let's go back employee.js. In the employee.js, we are receiving these individual employees here and in td elements we are showing these individual employee details these rows are tds and inside of them we have individual employee details so if we send these employee details to our edit form we will achieve our purpose for this reason i am going to edit form and I will add property this property will be the employee and the employee will be equal employee variable which we are receiving here save the file now we are sending this employee variable as a the employee to our edit form in our edit form we will catch it let's go back our edit form and with destructing method we are catching this employee Let's go back to our employee context and check our update employee function. To update an employee, what we need? First, we need the IDs of employee which we want to update. And second, we want updated employee information. So let's go back again our edit form. First, let's catch the ID. const ID will be equal the employee.id. The second, what we said, we need from employee context, we need updated employee information. From where we will get this information? This information we will get from our edit employee form. Again, here we can update one form element or all of them. For this reason, I will write one, two, three, four for your state hook. For these individual elements, let's go back our code and here our edit form.js. First, I will write use state hook for name form elements. Cons will be name and set name will be equal use state hook. And in use state hook, the initial value will be the name of the name of the employee. Because remember that the employee is we are catching from our employee JS. I will add also other use state hooks. Let's copy this three times. Second one will be email. Third one will be address. Fourth one will be phone. I will change also the set functions. Set email, set address and set phone. Again, the initial states will come from the employee. And this will be email and this will be address and this will be phone and now this name email address and phone will be the value of our phone so let's go back here value will be name for our email value will be email and for our address value will be address and for phone of course value will be phone save the file and let's go back our application and as you can see now we are receiving existing information from our employee let's close here for example let's check dominic we have the dominic's information let's check from and we have the from information what we did let's make a summary first in our employee.js, we are already receiving individual employee information. Then we send this employee as a the employee to our edit form. And in our edit form, we catch 
this is the employee and first we take the id why we take the id because in our context in our update employee function we need id and updated employee information first we get the id then we get the name email address and form from our the employee and then we add these variables as a value part of our form to see these details in our form now we want to catch that if we change the information or not for this reason we will use on change event let's go back uh, below the our value part and here i will write on change event and this on change event will fire set function of related input element we will take event as a parameter and this on change will fire in this case set name function of our use state hook and as a parameter this will take the value of target e dot target dot value of course i will write on change event for all individual form elements and email one will be set email and address will be set address and phone will be set phone with set method we received updated information of this form phone address email and name and here we have also id now we can get the all information of updated employee let's make here i write const updated employee will use id name email address and finally phone be careful about this update employee function and updated employee is an updated employee information with id which we catch with the employee and the information which we received from our edit form here is an updated employee information but this update employee is a function which we are receiving from our context in our context when you look again update employee information we need id and updated employee and finally we have this id and this updated employee now we can add the own submit and handle submit functions so let's go here first i will add here on submit function to our form on submit on submit will be fire handle submit function and i will write here our handle submit function const handle submit this handle submit will take a event as a parameter and in first case first we have to prevent default e dot prevent default then we have to fire this update employee function update employee again this will take two parameter first id will come from here and this is updated employee save the file and everything is working let's go back our application let's make this martin martin blank martin let's say vlak martin blank martin marty5 at email.com let's click edit button here actually we see that our information is changing but we have one problem we saw this problem in our ad form after finish our editing job the model is not closing itself so for this reason let's go back our employee list.js let's copy this use effect hook and to go to employee.js here we can add this use effect hook this time we are changing just employee not employees save the file and we have to import also use effect hook let's come here use effect save the file now everything is working let's this time let's update dominic i will click edit button let's write here dominic and let's write it 
dominic at email.com let's write it germany change with england and here let's change with the 0000, zero. i will click the edit employee button and here you can see that we changed the information successfully this is the end of today's lesson we will see each other in the next lesson